Hi there and welcome back to uh, Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. Now the game is paused and for good reasons. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've tried to start the game and I've tried to record some hours of the game but somehow I've got that odd feeling. <laughs> Yeah, the, the game doesn't just doesn't click for me at the moment. So I won't be able to continue it for now. I will continue it later. I'll try a trick that has worked to get me back into focus, which is complete the other RPG projects. And we'll start with Kingdom Come Deliverance because it is so easy to focus on that. The game is a streamlined experience because you only have one character to focus on. And even on that, you don't have to focus much to to be to be true. I mean, it's yeah, it's it's also a little bit yeah. The story is of Kingdom Come Deliverance is similarly planned, like in Pillars of Eternity too, but um, it's not that intricate. It's it's more a bold story in a bold age. And this is an intricate story, a complicated story, an interesting story on a deeper level. But it seems like I cannot concentrate on that deeper level at the moment. And so we'll go for the a little bit more simple experience first of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Also because I think I can, if I, if I had to choose of the RPGs that I want to complete at the moment, which is... Pillars of Eternity 2 and Kingdom Come Deliverance and also Still Torment, then I think I can do it like quickest and still enjoyable for my viewers if I start with Kingdom Come Deliverance because it's just easier to concentrate on one character than on a couple of characters and the story I've mentioned. So, um, I'll double the episodes of Kingdom, Kingdom, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I hope you can enjoy that too. I enjoy it a lot too. And it's easy to focus on it. It's, it's more a funny game instead of a deep game like this. And yeah, it's also, of course also historical deep, historically deep, which is very cool. And emotionally, it's, it's also very well done. So I hope you can... Uh, Tolerate that for a while. King um, Pillars of Eternity 2 will come back. And I have the hope that... <clears throat> I mean, they have... Gone to great lengths to, to say they will uh, release a lot of DLCs for Pillars of Eternity 2. And I think uh, that is true. And so we have the chance to then go for a complete game of Pillars of Eternity 2. Return to that and complete the complete game instead of... Uh, like now, where constantly some DLCs are added and a lot of changes are made. And the changes that are made in Pillars of Eternity 2 um, also affect, often affect weapons choices and builds, and then I have to rebuild, and sometimes, because the starting build, I imagine, is no longer effective, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that will become a little bit more stable too. I won't have to rethink um, in addition to switching between the games all the time. And so I think that will make for a, for a, for a deeper immersion experience. And so, yeah, as I said, I will double the episodes of Kingdom Come Deliverance. So that will complete earlier. It will, will also be a more... Yeah, I, it could be that it is a funner experience if if there are daily episodes. I'm not really sure about that. I I, th I tend to think it is that way. So um, we'll try that out. Then after that, um, I'll make a popular vote. Which one you want to complete first? Torment uh, or uh, Pillars of Eternity 2? And after that, we'll go... Yeah, for the, for the last one left, and then we'll choose a new epic RPG to complete, <laughs> to play, to complete, to roleplay. Uh, I hope you're happy about that. I think it's the only way I can do that because, yeah, I'm. I have tried to record some hours, but 
I turned out not to be happy with with what I put out there, and I cannot like put out something that I'm not happy about because it's not enjoyable. Then it's it feels like a distracted experience, and that is not something I want to deliver. <laughs> One can have a distracted experience any time one looks at the news uh, flash on the smartphone. And it's not about news flashes on the smartphone. It should be something like the opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, have a great time until next time. And happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out.